received a number of emails from people asking about what I use for screencasting, software, hardware, uh, so that they could get an idea of how I create the videos that I do. So I figured I'd make a video showing you guys the hardware and the software and of uh, how I create my videos. Let's get to it. What do I do to screencast? Well, the first thing we're going to talk about is the software. So the software, we're talking about the screen recorder that I use and the software that I write on. And then we'll get into the hardware, the writing device, uh, computer, and also the audio that we're going to use. The first thing to talk about is the actual screen capturing software. I use uh, Camtasia Studio. As you can see, this is the Camtasia Studio uh, button right here. This is the recording uh, software of Camtasia Studio. Why I think it's the best because it gives you anywhere from basic to professional results. I can make a basic screencast or I can make a really professional screencast based on doing the recording and then putting into Camtasia Studio when you're done. So if I wanted to edit the video it's seamless uh, to get into Camtasia Studio to edit. The problem with this software is it does cost some money. $300 per license or at least when you're buying one of them. Now what I use um, sometimes, and I have my students use an awful lot, and this can be for some people that are on a tighter budget, is something called Screencast-O-Matic. So we can go to Screencast-O-Matic.com, so if we take a look, here is Screencast-O-Matic, and what it is, it is a software, sorry, web-based um, screencasting software. It's free, and it's actually really full-featured in comparison to some of the other free softwares out there. We can, when we record, create MP4 files, which is fantastic for free software. And it also easily integrates with YouTube. So for example, if I wanted to create a screencast, all we have to do is go there and hit Start Recording. We don't even need to have uh, an account. So it will load up a little window, and we can easily choose the type of size that we want. I typically choose Medium HD. We can even have webcam. For free software, we don't usually have something that deals with webcam. Now, obviously, it doesn't show the webcam because I'm using that one right now. And then we can hit record. So when I hit record, go through my screencasting, do whatever I need to do, and hit done. What's nice about Screencast-O-Matic is that I can publish it right to YouTube with my account. I can also save it as a video, in a, a file. And remember, we can save it right as an MP4 uh, right away. Now. When we look at Screencast-O-Matic, uh, the editor isn't as easy. It does have an editor. It's web-based, but it's obviously not as easy as full-featured software. And there are still some more limits to it. Typically, people who are interested in screencasting uh, might have a smart board or a Promethean board or some sort of interactive whiteboard. And that software that comes with your boards does include, at least with smart board, screen capturing software. So if I were to click on my recorder, I could bring up my screen capturing window uh, and then I can record different sizes, uh, desktop, certain areas, or a window that I can select at will. Now, the thing with the, the smart board or Promethean board or whatever uh, type of software it is, they do work. It is built in. That's nice. Uh, but you, again, you do have less controls, and it's not quite as easy as to use as something like Screencast-O-Matic. So what do I use to write on? Well, the software that I use is called Windows Journal. I use Windows Journal. It's PC-based. Uh, I like how it looks. I like the ability for um, highlighting tools. Very easy to use and very easy to see uh, if you're used to a Microsoft-style interface. And again, it is built into Windows 7. It does not cost anything extra. Again, it is only for PC, so that could be a con for people who are going to be using Macs. And it doesn't integrate as well into Microsoft products as well as maybe OneNote would. I also have um, Smartboard software, uh, Promethean board software, uh, whatever it may be, and those work just as well. Um, but again, I'm used to using the uh, Windows Journal, and I do like how it looks a little bit better. What's nice about uh, Promethean or Smart is that they are cross-platform. So what writing device do I use? Well, as I'm recording this right now, I'm actually recording it on a computer like this. It's a tablet PC. I know you're probably very familiar with that. And I like to use a tablet PC because uh, the screen writing is built right into it. So it's always everywhere I go, I can use my uh, writing functionality. And I don't have to carry something else with it. When you're using a tablet, it is very easy and smooth to write on the screen. It gives you nice penmanship as you're writing. So I find that as a big plus. Cons, obviously, these are expensive. So 
that can be a huge turnoff for some people. And again, they are a single platform. Mac does not have a tablet PC type of device right now. One other thing, it is harder to use with a webcam. For example, if I wanted to write with a webcam on, I might sometimes cross over the top of the webcam as I'm writing or as I'm doing that. The other device that you could use for writing is an external slate. And I do use this often when I'm making a webcam uh, screencast. This way I can write when it's out of the way and I don't have to cross over the top. These are much cheaper to, to buy and they are cross-platform. They uh, go from PC to PC or computer to computer and you don't have to put the expense in them like you would have a complete computer-like tablet. Uh, the one thing that is a problem with this is the writing. So when you look at the writing, you're going to be writing on this tablet without looking at it. Sometimes that's going to make your handwriting sloppy, or you might not be able to find the right spot based on using this without looking. So the last thing we need to think about is the audio quality. And the typical thing that people use is something like a headset. And again, headset with a boom mic because that does give you the nice high quality because the, the sound comes in right here. Uh, it is very easy to use, just plug it in and go. The con is that, you know, some people think that this doesn't look quite as pleasant as uh, not having one at all. Maybe you look more like a telemarketer or something like that. Well, what I'm using right now is the built-in laptop mic. And sometimes you'll be able to hear the pros and the cons of this. It's built right into the laptop, but sometimes the sound isn't quite as good. Maybe my voice won't be directed towards the microphones, so that doesn't sound quite as good. It does work very well with a webcam uh, without me having to add anything external. And the last thing that you could do is buy something that is an external mic. So maybe you bought some mic and you put it on top of your laptop screen. And that will give you very high quality sound. But again, that is more clunky. You're going to have to bring it with you. So thanks for watching. Hopefully I answered your questions on what I use to create these videos. If you have any more questions, uh, feel free to email me at bjornhans at gmail.com. Have a nice day.